What up everybody? This is Lunchbox FPV and I am here today to show you how to update your Turtlet camera, the Cadex Turtlet. So, um, a lot of people have been receiving these and we've been getting lots of amazing feedback, an amazing review, and the Turtlet basically is, um, you know, almost a replacement to a GoPro or, you know, something to go up against the run cam split and stuff like that. So something more compact that you can get into your drone and record in, you know, high, high quality, basically. Um, so with the feedback that people have been providing us, what we've done, gone ahead and done is actually create a way for you to update your Turtlet camera so that you don't need to buy a new one, but you can actually update it. And, you know, we'll have plenty of different features coming down the road and possibly, you know, pilot profiles that you can update it to and et cetera, et cetera. So let's get on to that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to lunchboxfpv.com uh, and then from here you're going to want to click on the help center which will bring you to our support desk. Once you get to the support desk um, you scroll down a little bit and we have a downloads icon. Click on the download icon, scroll down a little bit more and you can see camera updates. So here you have the Turtlet software update version 2.1 and obviously as we do more updates um, this will definitely, um, you know, we'll be updating this area so that you can see the different features. Once you click on that, um, you'll land back on the website. Hold on, let me just zoom out here a little bit for you guys so you can see the whole browser. So once you get back on there, you'll be on the website. You scroll down and you can see what did we change. So in this edition, we fixed the power button because before the button wasn't actually enabling DVR, it was turning on and off the camera. So now that button uh, turns on the DVR and turns off the DVR. Um, we've increased the bitrate as Oh My God or Tommy, you know, gave us some feedback and we increased the bitrate so that you have a, you know, a better image and we've adjusted the brightness and sharp, uh, the brightness and sharpness. So this is basically what we've done. Um, and then from here we have some easy steps on what to do. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do is to click here or, you know, click here to download the actual file. And now the file is downloading. My computer, obviously, um, the file will not be in the same place. Everyone saves it to different places. So that will be the first step. Uh, hold on a second, I am just finding the file. All right, let me move this over here. So I have my file right here, the SP host BRN. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my desktop so it's easier to show you guys what to do. Um, and then from there, we're going to need to get a blank SD card. So we want to get one of these little guys. We want to put that into your computer. Obviously, I, I use an SD card reader. Put that into your computer. And we're going to want to make sure to format. So let's scroll down. We're on the SD card down here. And I'm going to right click and we're going to format that card. It's important that it's formatted to ensure that um, the system could pick up the file name. So now that is going to be formatted, format complete. Let's open back up our tray. As you can see, there is nothing, hold on, there is nothing inside of this SD card. And then you're going to want to drag and drop that file onto the SD card. Pretty simple. All right, now I'm, I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll get to the next step. So the next step is actually quite easy. Um, once you have the SD card loaded, uh, all you're going to have to do basically is put the SD card into your turtlet um, and then with no power on, obviously, and then just power it up and wait 30 seconds and it will auto update itself. All right, so the next step in getting this done is basically we are going to take the SD card while the drone has its power off, like I was saying, put that in, and obviously this is the update file on it, and now you're going to power on the camera. When that happens, you're going to get the boot screen, and then it's going to go into updating mode. Now let's fast forward this a little bit.
As you can see, it has gone black. That means the camera is done updating. So what you're gonna wanna do is unplug your drone, remove the SD card, and then once you boot up again, you will see the software will be updated and your camera is back to normal. So that is how you update your Caddx Turtlet. Thank you everyone for watching.